have an interest in environmental matters, as you would expect as a Christian. Uh, and I heard this work was going on here to do with fracking and wanted to come and find out a little bit about it. Well, my name is Derek Estill. Uh, I'm General Assembly Moderator of the United Reformed Church uh, from 2018 to 2020. Part of coming today is to find out what people think. Uh, and I think I've been able to do that. I've heard many different views and I've heard a lot of concern. We felt it was really important that people of faith brought their voice uh, and their values. but I think it's for everyone around here. In Africa, we have a saying, if you think you are too small to make a difference, you obviously haven't slept with a mosquito in your room. What we're doing is standing up for the sacredness of life, standing up for justice, social justice and climate justice. Above all, this is a matter of justice. It's not just a matter of the justice for the community here that's had this industry imposed on it. It's about justice throughout the world. And what is being done here is being replicated thousands of times all across the world in poor communities. For instance, sea levels are rising and one of the most low-lying places in the world is Bangladesh. One of the biggest threats is typhoons sweeping up the Bay of Bengal and that could put 50 million people at risk. Uh, I'm a member of Martin United Reformed Church and uh, I live right behind the fracking. I made the banner um, as a gift for the United Reformed Church. Um, I wanted them to be represented along with all the other religions that are gathered together um, to protect the area. I want to introduce Kate as well. Yeah, my hope is that people who are URC, the United Reformed Church, will become more informed about what fracking is and about how they can respond very locally in their communities or in their regions where fracking is potentially going on or is proposed as a site for going on. The core of our worship, the core of our spirituality is to sit in silent worship. do that, what we're really doing is upholding life here in this place and upholding also all the people associated with it, whether it is the other protectors, whether it is the police standing looking at it, is whether it is the security guards behind the gates or the workers at Quadrilla to bring all of us the healing that we need to be living differently. And to also take a forward position if we can, such that we're in the leading vanguard of people making on views as Christians felt uh, across the different constituencies holding people together such that we have a common voice. <laughs>